Well, it was kind of hot today, so I ran into town this afternoon to pick up some parts with a bike. So it's always a little bit of a treat just to run. But I had been kind of on a lookout for this book. This is something that Gung Geek brings up pretty often. And I noticed the other day when he was talking about the 401, he had shown the information for that is in here. And they have it for the 351. So I thought, well, this is interesting. You know, they've got low data, they're like there's some history of a cartridge, and they have a certain amount of load data. You know, kind of limited for the basic stuff, but at least it kind of gets you in the ballpark. And the first thing, you know, when I throw it ahead to 351, well, then I look a little further. First thing I look for is Nagant. My God, it had Nagant in there. But there again, it's kind of, you know, they're, they're working on the idea that you can't really reload them and you got to use the 3220 and all that again, you know. But interesting in that their powder load is bullseye, three grains, and I've been using 2.8 as of late. So it's kind of in the ballpark, but there again, no, these aren't gas seal, you know, minor gas seal. But there's some weird stuff like here. It says the bullet diameter is 0.295. Well, you know, I've been running like 311. You know, and that's really what it takes. Like even a 308 is really too small. But, you know, I don't know. They're, uh, so, you know, some of the stuff makes sense. Uh, it's good to find the history on the stuff. But, like I say, I'm in a god. I'm sure I've got hollow points in it right now. And, you know, there. I'm pretty sure these are the 311s. So I do have some 312s too, but I think it's the 311s I've been using in this. But it just surprises me that they are off you know, on the whole diameter. But they do have you know, information on the toker of and there again, they're loading 5 grains of bullseye. Well, I think I'm going 4.8. So we're kind of in the ballpark there. And they got a lot of, like here they've got for 7.5 Swedish Nagant. Well, that would be an interesting gun if a guy could ever get one. But it's funny here, you know, it makes it sound like, oh, there's all kinds of Swedish ones around. But then in the Russian ones, it makes it sound like there isn't many of them. <laughs> so they're kind of backwards that way. So there's some of the information, you know, I agree with, some I don't, but at least it gets you in a ballpark and they really cover a lot. You know, they've got everything in here it just has very limited as far as load data and one thing i've noticed they're very dependent on the 3031 now i use 3031 sometimes but i usually find powders that work better for me but they tend to go with 3031 on a lot of rifles but i suppose you know you're kind of playing it safe but but interesting book you know and it was a 20 dollar book this is at Gander Mountain, and they had a whole pile of them. So for 20 bucks, you know, that's well worth it. And then what they've done is in the back of the book, there's a CD that has for the arcane, obsolete, and oddball ammunition. So if you got something you can't find in here, you can always go to the CD. So well worth 20. Now I don't mind paying that. But like I say, it comes up fairly often. Uh, you know, Gun Geek seems to use it a lot. But I just never seen him in a store before. And here's for the 351. And oddly enough, I mean here they're going I'm using like 160 grain cast, they use 177. 16 grains of 4227 and that's what I'm at now. You know, just coincidental. But I see here they're pushing the 180 grain at 19.5, and I'm running 17 on that. So, you know, I can go up some on that, according to them, you know. But, 
it's interesting because like a lot of this stuff, there's no information out there unless you have, they have real old books. So, so it's good to have a, a, a current book. Though, like I say, there seems to be a certain prejudice for, for certain things in there. Well, that was a Barnes that wrote it. And they, they don't have quite the idea of, of the ability to reload on the gun. But I think it'll be very handy. You know, like I say, limited stuff. It isn't, you know, like the the Lyman book has got a lot of information. But for some of this stuff, if you get any information, you got to be happy.